about Bike Kingdom. So please honor Hubert Joshua Hemmings and Sven Brieden. Hi, I also want to welcome you um, from our group. Um, please go on the next slide. Um, our challenge was to measure the frequency um, of the biking trails in the Bike Kingdom, Lenzerheide, Arosa. Um, area and we started with prototyping and we came up with like a, a small website where we want to highlight the trails in different colors and have like different volumes of circles for the usage of the Bergbahnen. So then we proceed further. Can you? Can I? And just analyze the data on the first hand. And as we can see, um, Bike Kingdom, Lenzerheide is a lot frequent, more frequently used um, on the weekends than during the weekdays. And we see also that the, that the trails are used more then, and there are always the same trails used. Then we proceeded further. And what we created in this 24 hours will present Joshua now. So this is our final product. It is a functional website um, where you can uh, define a filter between the timeline and then it will display um, all the, the trails, mountain biking trails and their respective usage. So the light green lines you can see here are very rarely used trails and the red ones on, are more frequently used. Also the bolder the line is, the more it's used as well. So the next slide, please. So this is our infrastructure. Uh, we planned the hack day to be like reusable for the uh, challenge owner afterwards. So everything you see in the square is actually usable or almost ready usable for the challenge owner. And only the base import part on the left-hand side is just for us that we could load the default, like the base data we received and just initially load it into the database. So we used the MySQL database for the database. Uh, our backend was provided by Flask and we wrote the front end with a view. Um, so next slide, please. So what were recommending to the challenge owner as the next few steps are visualize the usage of the Bergbahn, like the cable car or the trains and whatever means there are as well. Just so the people have an idea where should I go to next because the area is so big for by kingdom. Uh, you should filter out the trails um, by the cable car, for example. So you can say, if I go to the Rotornbahn, uh, what trails are there and how much are they used currently? Uh, to provide the entire thing, um, you need to have a like, real-time data flow. So as soon as somebody checks in at the top, you should try to receive that data straight away just so it's in real time and that you get a, a proper view where are the people currently. And finally, your plan was to distribute the people better around the Bike Kingdom area. So there should be like a trial and error, like where, how can we incentivize the people to use a different track? And so this was our quick introduction to our hack day challenge. And so now we're open up for questions. Okay, thank you very much. A fully functional website is there. Pascal Krieger, maybe you have some questions concerning this. Yes, I do. Thank you very much for this uh, presentation um, and this lovely product. Um, I sneaked in into your Zoom calls um, and was impressed by how much enthusiasm and pleasure you've been working on this <laughs> challenge. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, my questions, in, well, one question I had you already answered, is this thing um, ready to go live and to uh, get live data out of it? Yes, it does. So second question is, how future-proof is it? Is it possible I can add on um, more data, more more bases, and, well, more, uh, more data strings to it? 
maybe I can jump in and explain a little bit. So in this day, we more uh, concentrated on the infrastructure <clears throat> and yeah, with pandas in the back end, you can really easily add whatever data you want. But of course, it would be more interesting if we had more time to get more insight of it, out of it. Mm. So um, compare more the Bergbahnen and the usage, the usage of trails to think where is the crowd coming? Is it in mm. front of the Bergbahnen or is it in the beginning of the trails? And um, look deeper inside the data. That would be the next step. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah. but also the data is and the database, how we created everything is ready so that you can add more data sources. For example, the Strava data we would like to have today, but <laughs> did not have, um, could also be read into the database and added to the product we already developed. Lovely. Thank you very much.